Hey guys, it's worrying about the weather, CVS Sunday. I'm just joking. Um, we at CVS, that's where we at. We're about to go in here and do our CVS Sunday deals. Um, I think there was no inserts today. I was gonna say I think there was two inserts today. That's crazy, I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> I am lost my train of thought. Anyway, we're about to go on CVS and we're about to do some of these deals, so stick with me. Let's see what we get. Okay, you guys, the first deal I want to do is on Userin. Userin and Aquaphor this week is spend 20 and get a $10 extra buck. The ones I'm going to get is one of these right here for $13.49. And then one of these right here, the intensive, for $6.79. That's going to be like a teeny bit over $20, right? I do have a spend 20 get 4 off lotion. So I'll be 20 minus 4 is going to be 16. And then I have a 5 off 2 that came out not... It came out last week so to make it 11 and then we'll get back 10 right um so i make some like 50 cent each not bad right i usually get this one it looks like this but the huger one but they don't have none i like that one guys the next item i want to do i want to do revlon this week revlon is spend 10 and get a three dollar extra buck and you can actually do this deal six times per household or per card i should say six times per card i'm gonna do it twice this time because i do have a spin 20 get five off Revlon so I'm gonna get one of these right here for $8.69 and then I'm going to get one of those Canon like power looking things for $11.79 that's gonna be right at $20 20 minus 5 is 15 we having a tongue-tied day already I can feel it so that's gonna be 15 minus a 4 this can either be used on the Revlon or the Maybelline I'm gonna use it on the Revlon so it'll be um, 15 minus 4 is 11. A 3 off 1 eye, that'll make 8. And then another 3 off 1 face, that'll make 5. And then we'll get $6 back. So not a bad deal. And those Revlons came out, I think, uh, 4. Hold on, let me check. That's best. Let me check and not guess. I had the 4 right. It's 4-3. It came out 4-3. So that's our next transaction. Or not transaction. Our next deal there you go that's the word i'm looking for deal you guys the next thing i want to do is on neutrogena you can either get neutrogena clean and clear or avino i'm gonna get neutrogena because of the crts i got but basically they're spend 30 and get a 10 dollars extra buck now i'm gonna get three of these it costs 9.99 i'm gonna have to show you my or put the my crts on the screen because they did not print last week and i had to send them to card um, so I got two of the spend 10 get two off of acne. I got a buy two get one one free on acne. I got a buy one get one 40% off on acne. And then I have I think a 250 off one acne. Now if I calculated it right, it should be $9 and then I should get $10 back. I'm kind of unclear when it comes to that buy one get one for 40% off CRT. You know what I'm saying? They can be a little fishy. But we'll see what happens and I'll let you know. How about that? Okay, you guys, the next time I'm going to do is not a deal, but Cetaphil is on 20% off this week. And I got some good CRTs. So make sure you check the price because it, especially if you have like a spend 15 gets a certain amount off. Or I got three off. Then you want to make sure your total is within 98% of that 15. So I'm going to get is one of these right here. They're actually $10. And one of these right here, they're 480. So that's going to be within my 98% um, of the 15. I'm going to call it 15 because it's easier that way. So 15 minus 3 will be 12. Minus 3 more will be 9. And then minus a 5 off 2 will be 4, but it'll be more like 380. But I think that's a good deal, especially for us getting something that usually is like $12. So I'm going to go ahead and do this next guys the next thing i want to do is not really a deal but it's on dial dial is normally priced 679 i'm gonna grab two of them two of them would be roughly like 13 dollars and 50 cent for my math sake well 13 dollars and 50 cent ain't that bad to subtract i guess so i have a four off 12 so make it 950 i have a two off two that's gonna make it 750 another two off two that'll make it 550 and then i got a two off two from last week's insert so i make it 350 for two of them not bad i think that's an okay deal even if we're not getting any extra bucks back um it's better than wasting my good crts right Okay, you guys, the next thing I want to do is on the Gillette or Venus. You can get either one. And this does include the shaving items like the shave prep or shaving cream. That's what it's called. They're buy one, get one half off. 
when you buy um, three of them, you get $8. Or if you buy two, you get three. So you know we're going to buy three of them and get $8. Um, so I want to get one of these orange ones right here for $13.99. One of these green ones right here for $10.99. The green one should be half off. And then I'm going to get a shaving cream down here for $6.49. That's going to be right at $25. I do have a spend $25, get $10 off. So that'll make it $15. I have a $3 from the PNG. That'll make it $12. Then I have a $3 for a digital. So that should make it $9. And then we'll get $8 back. Now, I was sitting here thinking, I'm pretty sure they should give me these buy one, get one half off. And then the shaving cream should be full price. Fingers crossed that's how it should work. But we'll see what happens, okay? Because I don't want them to, what I don't want is them to give me the half price on the shaving cream because then my total will be off. But again, we'll see what happens at the registry. Can never tell. Hey, you guys, the next thing I want to do is on Chic. Um, Chic and Skin to Mint are spend 15 and get a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to get one of these women right here for $8.99. We have a $4 digital for that. And then I'm going to get one of the men for $8.99. We have another $4 digital for that. Now, I do have a spend 20, get five off. So what I'm gonna do is add um, some shaving cream. The cheapest one they have is 239 down there. I'm pretty sure of it, it's 239. So that's gonna be $20, um, a little over 39 cent or 37 cent over, something like that. So I'm gonna say 20 minus five will be 15, minus four will be 11, and then minus four for the women will be seven, and then we'll get $5 back. So not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this next. Now you may have more Chic or Skin to Mint CRTs, like maybe you have um, five off one or three off one. Sometimes they give off ones. I don't know if they if you got them, but I didn't get them. So hopefully you got them, you know what I mean? I'm not a hater, I, I hope you got them. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do the Axe deal. You can either get Axe Suave or Degree or the, the, the S word again, Schmitz, I guess that's how you say it. But they're buy one, get one half off. And when you buy two of them, you get a $3 extra buck. So I'm gonna get some of the Axe Spray because we still got that buy one, get one free coupon. So two of them will be $9. If they take out $5.99, which is six, it'll be $3 and then we'll get $3 back. But I have to see when I get to the register. Um, it really just depends on the cash the cashier, okay? You guys, OGX and Maui are buy one, get one half off. And when you buy two of them, you do get a $4 extra buck. So I'm gonna get the ones that cost $9.99 because it will be buy one, get one half off and it'll be $15 or within 98% of the $15. So it'll be 15 minus four will be 11 minus a three off two will be eight. I did the math real quick with my fingers. I'm not gonna lie. Will be eight minus a two off one will be six. And then we have a two off two digital. So it'll be four. Now, if you can print the $2 off two from coupons.com, you may have a G action. Just letting you know, I couldn't print it because I don't know why my, my printing wanted to act up. I have ink, I have paper, still didn't want to print. Anyway, so it'll be $4 and then I'll get $4 back. But if you print that coupon, you may have some G action. So it'll be two and then you get $4 back. Hey you guys, the next thing I'm gonna do is on the Spin 20 and get a $5 extra buck. It's on Head & Shoulders, Pantene, or Herbal Essence. So I'm gonna get two Herbal Essence and I'm actually gonna get two of these right here. I've never gotten these before. And then I'm gonna get two of the Head & Shoulders. They're also two for 12 as well. So that is actually gonna be $24. I have a uh, two off nine, that's gonna make it $22. And that's for the Head & Shoulders. And then I have a two off nine for the Herbal Essence. That's gonna make it $20. And then I'm going to use a three off two from the PNG. So that's going to make it 17 and a four off two from the PNG. So that's going to make it 13. Now we do got digitals. Um, so fingers crossed those come off as well, but I'll be here to show you if they do or not. Okay. You guys, the next thing I want to do is on Purcell. Purcell and all at least nope they got it in the wrong spot it's just regular per sale it's spend 20 and get a five dollar extra book and they're on sale for 4.99 so i'm actually going to get four of them for basically 20 dollars they're within the 98 percent of the 20 dollars i don't have my spend something get something off per sale coupon because i used it last week but if you got it use it this week um so it'll be 20 and then i'm going to use four of these two dollar off ones that came out last week so it'll make it 12 and then we'll get five dollars back making all four of those seven dollars and i actually like per sale it really smells good to me so I'm gonna get two of these and two of that because that's all the choices I got <laughs> you guys the next deal I want to do is on the spend 40 and get a $10 extra book 
Um, there's certain different deals you can do. What I'm going to do is on diapers and Tide Pods. Diapers, Huggy Diapers, and I'm going to get the Snug and Dry because we have an Ibotta rebate for them. So they're buy one, get one half off. I'm actually going to get three of them. That's going to make $35 because mine are $14. And then I'm going to get one of the Tide Pods over there for $5.49. So that's going to be like $41 minus a five off 35 baby care will make it $36. And then I'm going to use three of these 250 off ones from the 4-3 insert. So that'll make um, basically, what, 36 minus 750 is like 28. And then I'm going to use a $2 for the Tide Pod. It's going to be $26. And then we're going to get $3 back from Ibotta. So it's going to make it 23. And then we're going to get a $10 extra buck, making it 13. I don't think it's a bad deal, especially for diapers. Basically, we're getting two diapers for free and the, the pods for free, and we're only paying for one of the diapers. That's what I look at it. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see what happens, okay? You guys, I'm going to get use my um my beauty club. It ends today, so I'm going to use it today. I'm going to just get one of the CVS brand body washes for $1.99. They're included this month. These things change every month, and what I do is I just send it the card, and then I press shop this deal, and then it brings up everything you can choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and get this next, and then I'm probably going to the register. I am starting with like $20 in extra bucks and a $5 fetch. I'm probably going to do the Neutrogena first. Let's see what happens. You guys, my first transaction transaction like I said I was doing the Neutrogena now this one was a little iffy when I when we did I sent everything to card I didn't have all my ex, uh, my CRTs anyway because of how it's printing not a lot are printing at the red box only three at a time are printing for me and I know to put in my number three times scan my card three times only three print each time so which is a bad thing because I forgot to send the ones that didn't print to card so I couldn't use them this week anyway we're not complaining um so anyway on this one when we first rang it up my two off, both of my two off tens came off. My 250 off one came off. My buy two, get one free came off. So the total came up to 1349. The one that did not come off was buy one, get one 40% off. He was nice enough to re-ring it and take one 40% off, still give me my buy one, um, get one free. And then as you can see, the buy two, get one free still came off. So. Not all cashiers will do that. I'm going to be honest with you guys. They're, and it's not because they're, they don't want to, but they do kind of get in trouble sometimes. But he did. He was a manager, so he did do it. Um, so my total is $5.49. I used a $5 gift card from Fetch. So I did pay $0.49 cent and got $10 back. More than likely, yours will be $13.49. You can use your $10 extra buck if you have one or use any extra bucks to lower your out-of-pocket and get $10 back if you want to do this deal. This deal is a little sketch sketch. Now, when he did put the numbers in for the buy one get one 40 percent off because they can put the numbers in it took my buy two get one off get one free off so it both of them apply both of them are right they just the system's like hey we can see you're not going to spend a lot of money and we don't like that so we're going to not let one go through so and he made it go through Thank you, Lord, for him. Also, I forgot to tell you, because he had to finagle it, um, my total was not spend 30. It was spend something else. So he had to print me a $10 extra buck, too, on top of that. Because I did technically spend 30 before CRTs, but because he had to change prices, it didn't recognize me spending 30. So he had to give me print out a $10 extra buck. This one is a catch-22. If you feel comfortable, do it. If you don't, then don't, you know? you guys um, my next transaction I did my free beauty item the axe the OGX the Gillette the Eucerin and the Revlon um, all my digitals or my digitals all my coupons came off I said $5.99 but for whatever reason she took $6.75 off which I am not gonna be mad for that X coupon because it does go up to $6.75 and actually when they send the coupon in if they don't write nothing in there they're gonna get the max value that's how it works if they do write something in there that's what they get back anyway um, my $3 Gillette digital came off because I used one paper and one digital my two off two for the OGX my free item came off and then I used all my CRTs. As you can see, that um, spend 25, get 10. All the CRTs I just told you about. And then I had I used my $20 that we have from last week, um, uh, extra bucks, and the $10 I just got back from the Neutrogena. It was $8.38, look at all that tax, I'm just saying. I got back four for the OGX, eight for the Gillette, 10 for the Eucerin, six for the um, Revlon, and three for the, what was that, three, four, I can't see it, hold on, for the Axe, of course, 
Um, so I got $31 back. I did upload my receipt to Fetch because Fetch has a deal on Axe right now. I got 3,000 points for that. And then I uploaded my receipt to uh, Ibotta and I got $2 back. So I actually got $5 back. So not bad at all. You guys, I went ahead and did my next transaction. I basically did everything except the big Mama Jamma, which is the Spin 40 at 10. I did the Herbal Essence, the Head and Shoulders, the Purcell, the um, Chic, the Cetaphil, the Dial, and don't you like how I say I did everything and still want to tell you what I did? But that's just a habit. Anyway, all my coupons came off. My two shicks came off. And you know, hint, hint, herbal and head came off. Um, anyway, all my extra bucks looked like they took and they didn't lower any of them. So I'm happy about that. All my, I had the 10, the 8, the 6, the 4, and the 3. It was $1.58 before tax, eight fifteen after. I'm telling you that tax. So I do have $15. Five for the um, shake, five for the head and shoulders, and five for the um, for sale. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is my last big mamma jamma is gonna cost me the most, but it is what it is. I still am gonna do it. I did the math. I tried to calculate to see if I could work it in first and then do the rest. It was gonna cost me anyway. So uh, either way, I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one next. Okay, or the last transaction, which is the spin forty next. Hey you guys, my last transaction went like this. I got the Tide and the Huggies, the Spin 40 get 10. All my coupons went through. My 5 off 35 worked this time because I feel like the last time I did this deal, for whatever reason, the diaper coupon didn't want to come off. Although I had it sent the card and um, and this time I had it in my hand. I don't know if that made a difference. Anyway, I had the $15 that I got last transaction. So this one was $10.96 before tax, $13.63 after tax, and then I did get $10 back. Um, today I brought $40 in and I'm leaving with $9 and some change. Um, so everything here costs $31 with tax, but we did get back $3 from, for the Huggies on Ibotta. So that makes it $28, $3 on Fetch for the Axe. So that makes it $25 and then $2 on Ibotta for the Axe. So it makes it $23 with tax for everything. I didn't add it all up, but... I know it's a lot because we got all them huggies. I don't know what they're doing on the other aisle, but I'm minding my business. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear it. But anyway, um, yeah, so there are a few other deals, like I always say. So, Lord willing, I come back on Tuesday, you guys. Stay up, stay blessed, be positive. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, let me know what I missed. And, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You have a great day. And just thank you, okay? I really thank you.